Hi, my name is John Stover, and I'm the Product Technical Director for New Age Industries and Inventipure Products. For the next few minutes, I'll be talking about the use of weldable and sealable tubing used in pharmaceutical processing and filling applications. Our product is called Advantiflex Biopharmaceutical Tubing and is made from the next generation of polymers used for high purity applications. So what is Advantiflex? This weldable and sealable tubing is made from a new generation of thermoplastic elastomers specifically made with very low extractable and leachable potentials which can address the stringent material and usage requirements of the pharmaceutical and biotech industries. The validation test portfolio of Advantiflex is extensive and includes many USP, ISO, and FDA test monographs. This testing was performed on both irradiated and autoclave samples to provide test values using the condition that the tubing would actually be used. Additionally, Extensive extractables testing results are also available using the analytical techniques referenced in ISO 10993-18. A close examination of these results will show values better than those of commonly used platinum silicones. The tubing is fully lot traceable, manufactured on dedicated equipment in a controlled environment, packaged in an ISO rated clean room, and then stored in a controlled environment dedicated to minimize exposure to particulate. One of the main advantages of this new type of TPE tubing is its ability to be used in a peristaltic pump for many hours. A piece of Advantiflex can be used an average of six to ten times longer than older TPE materials known by the industry. Some sizes have been tested to several hundred hours before failing in a Masterflex pump head. This allows the use of weldable and sealable tubing in pump applications where before silicone splices had to be used. This is a common configuration used in a tubing manifold where a peristaltic pump is used. Note the silicone tubing splice put into the manifold used as the pump element. This requires two additional connections with two potential leak points and another material validation to be concerned with. The use of Advantiflex can now eliminate the silicone pump element, providing a lower risk of leak and tubing failure, which can potentially result in a batch loss. It also simplifies material validation by offering a single tubing pathway material. The main advantage of using weldable and sealable tubing is the potential to replace the use of expensive aseptic connectors and manual terminations of tubing ends by folding the ends and tying them off with cable ties or manually plugging them. Silicone cannot be sealed to itself, so silicone must use some sort of aseptic connector or mechanically be pinched to cease flow. If tied off or pinched, re-establishing a sterile connection usually requires that connection to be made under a hood or clean room rated area with proof of sterility testing. Advantiflex can also be overmolded to produce manifold assemblies with molded junctions and sanitary ends as are currently done with silicone. Since Advantiflex can be used in a peristaltic pump, this now allows a single material manifold or tubing pathway for fluid processing and filling applications. Pictured are typical manifold junctions, molded end and bottle stopper assemblies. As with silicone manifold technology, we can eliminate the use of barb fitting connections with cable ties as pictured to a molded connection with no fluid path obstruction or leak potential. This cut in half T-junction demonstrates these fluid path advantages over the use of fittings and cable ties. Sterile connections are also commonly made with several brands of aseptic connectors. These connectors are used once and then discarded. Pharma companies can use these expensive connectors by the thousands. Pictured in this video is the Advantipure heat sealer. The sealing head clips onto the tubing. When the head is closed and the cycle is initiated, a light comes on indicating the cycle is in progress. 
When the light goes out, the cycle has been completed, producing a validated complete seal of the tubing. This extremely portable sealing head design tethers the head to the power unit, allowing the user to take the sealer to the tubing wherever it is in the manufacturing suite. Pictured is a validated seal being applied to a sterile fluid filled tubing pathway performing a seal without breaking sterility. Pictured in this video is the Advantapure Sterile Tubing Welder. This device allows a validated sterile connection of two lines of tubing re-establishing fluid flow from a source to a destination. The fluid source tubing line is inserted from the left side of the unit and the destination tubing line is inserted from the right side of the unit. The clips are then closed to help hold the tubing in place before the cycle is initiated. A tube cutting blade is inserted into the device where it goes through an initial depyrogenation cycle sterilizing the blade. All edges on this blade are blunted, making them very safe to use and have an optical sensing tab that the machine scans ensuring single use. Once the cover is closed and the cycle initiated, both tubes are pinched shut. The sterilized blade cuts through the tubes. The device repositions and aligns the tubing pathways to make the connection, withdraws the blade, and welds the two ends together, re-establishing a sterile fluid pathway. After the cycle is completed, the cover is lifted, the cutoffs are removed and discarded, and the reconnected tubing is removed, producing a validated sterile welded pathway without the use of a expensive aseptic connectors. Advantaflex can also be welded to other TPEs. Pictured here is Advantaflex welded to C-Flex 374. Heat sealing also allows for sample retention by trapping the sample between two seals and then storing the sample for future reference. Thanks for taking the time to view this video. The equipment shown in this video is available for on-site demonstration.